The Olsen Instruments Concrete Thickness Gauge is a handheld, battery-powered device that tests concrete thickness and integrity. The CTG2 can quickly and accurately test elevated slabs such as bridge decks and parking garages, slabs on grade such as roads, runways, and floors, walls and precast panels, ceilings, tunnel linings and concrete pipe, columns and beams, and foundations. The CTG2 is lightweight, portable, reliable, easy to use, and requires no special training as it runs on any Windows 7 or greater device that is supplied by the customer. In addition to determining slab thickness, the unit can be used to identify cracks, voids, and honeycombing within concrete. Using the CTG2, it's possible to perform over 100 tests per hour, eliminating or minimizing the need to drill, core, or excavate. The CTG2 is proudly made in the USA at our facility in Denver, Colorado, where our equipment has been built for over 30 years. When you open the box that holds your CTG2 system, you will find a test head, one black audio cable, one USB to micro USB adapter, four spare batteries, one USB drive containing Win CTG2 software and the system manual. Depending on when your system was manufactured, you may also have one audio auxiliary cable and or one USB audio adapter. To set up the CTG2, install the Win CTG2 software from the provided USB drive. Connect the USB drive to your Windows device. Click on the Win CTG2 setup directory. Open setup.exe the software will be installed using a setup wizard. Select Next as appropriate. Select Yes when prompted to confirm changes. Choose Close to exit. This should create a shortcut on your desktop. Next, turn on your Windows device. Connect one end of the audio cable to the test head. Connect the other end of the audio cable to the USB audio adapter. There are two jacks on the audio adapter. One is identified with a microphone icon and is usually pink. The other is identified with a headphone icon and is usually green. You must use the pink microphone jack. Now connect the audio adapter to the USB port on your Windows device. If you are using a Windows device with only a micro USB port, use the provided USB to micro USB adapter to complete the connection. Flip the toggle switch on the base of the test head to turn on the unit. When the green light is illuminated, the IE test head is powered up and ready to collect data. Double click on the WinCTG2 shortcut to open the software. The software is comprised of three different panels, the data parameter panel, the filter panel, and the waveform data panel. Each panel, except for the waveform data panel, is collapsible if not needed. Within the Waveform Data panel, the top plot box shows the time domain data and the bottom plot box shows the frequency spectrum. Per the status field in the main menu, the program is currently in standby mode. Fill in the date field and the project name field as desired. If you have laid out a grid for data collection and want the software to keep track of your X and Y coordinates, use the geometry feature to document the coordinates. This feature is described in the system reference manual. Unless changed, a default value of 6 inches will be used for expected concrete thickness. This value is used to limit the amount of data analyzed and presented by the software, so it is important to alter this number as appropriate. The default value of 6 inches is appropriate to use for slabs ranging in thickness from 4 inches to 8 inches. Unless changed, a default velocity of 12,000 feet per second will be used during data collection. This is an average velocity value for typical sound concrete. The units can be changed from metric to English or vice versa, either during or after data collection. At this point, the user has two options for collecting and saving data. The setup file name option, which is fully described in the system reference manual, can be used to set up automatic file naming when testing is laid out in a grid. The start option is used when testing point by point. When using this mode, the user will be prompted to name each file individually. Note that the view option can be used to quickly view data without saving files. For the purposes of this instructional video, we will use the start option. 
To use the CTG2, with the test head powered up, press the test head against the concrete you want to test. Select the Start option on the software. A Save As dialog box will open. Enter the individual file name desired. Select Save to close the dialog box and proceed with testing. The system is now waiting to receive data in the form of an impact, as reported in the status field which is currently in ready to test mode. Be careful not to reposition the test head at this point, as the sensor will detect the movement and data collection will start. In the event that this happens, click reject and resume testing. Now push the trigger on the underside of the test head's handle. The built-in solenoid on the test head will impact the surface of the concrete. The resulting sound wave travels to the bottom of the concrete and back to the surface, where it is picked up by the sensor. The software uses signal frequency and concrete velocity to calculate thickness. The results are displayed on the screen of your Windows device. The program is now waiting for you to accept or reject the data as reported in the status field. Good data can be identified by a waveform signal in the time domain plot that ranges from 0.1 volt to 0.8 volt and the presence of a prominent peak in the frequency spectrum. If the signal falls outside this range, or if no signal is detected, adjust the gain or volume with the volume option arrows. If the data is acceptable, press the green check mark in the toolbar. If the data is not acceptable, press the red X and repeat the test. It is important to recognize that the CTG2 does not measure the concrete thickness at a point on the bottom of the concrete directly below the test point on the surface. Instead, it measures the average thickness over the area of a circle with a diameter which is one half the thickness of the concrete. The result shown here is typical of good data collected on a slab with an uneven bottom. Note the prominent peak in the frequency spectrum. When the bottom of the slab is perfectly flat, the resulting data will show a very sharp peak in the frequency spectrum. Invalid data may show many peaks in the frequency spectrum. The CTG2 is primarily designed to measure concrete thickness ranging from approximately 3.2 inches to about 20 inches. However, it's possible to measure thicknesses up to 6 feet with a user-supplied ball-peen hammer. When testing in thick mode, change the expected concrete thickness from the default value of 6 inches to a number that represents the approximate expected thickness of the structure you're testing. Now, start the testing using one of the three test mode options, set of file name, start, or view. This time, we will use the view option. With the test head powered up, press the unit firmly against the concrete member to be tested. Select the view option on the software. The system is now waiting to receive data in the form of an impact. Use a small external hammer to hit the top of the concrete. The sensor on the test head will record the data and the software will display the results on the screen. The CTG2 has additional capabilities and features including filtering and windowing of data. Additionally, greater accuracy can be achieved by calibrating the CTG2. The CTG2 is roughly 90% accurate out of the box. However, for a more accurate test, you will have the option to calibrate it to the specific concrete you are testing, which brings the accuracy to within 98%. To calibrate the unit, you must have a known thickness location or core. Place the CTG2 on the known thickness. Click the calibration button located on the upper left side. You will now enter the known thickness in the pop-up window. Then click OK. Pull the trigger and you will get a result on the screen. It will not have the corrected thickness measurement at this time. If the result is acceptable, click Accept. A pop-up window will appear reporting the calibrated velocity. Click Yes to proceed. Notice the velocity has now changed. This is the corresponding velocity for this specific pour of concrete, and it should not be used on any other pours. Note, two pours at different times can have varying velocities because of slight difference in the mix. If possible, always calibrate to the specific pour. For a complete description of the calibration feature, please refer to your system reference manual. The Olsen Instruments CTG2 system can be used to quickly and easily test concrete slabs. If you have additional questions, please call us at 303-423-1212 and ask for technical support. We can also be reached by email at info at olseninstruments.com.